Hello, I'm Richard Winters, and it's just after the first of the year on a cold winter day here in North Texas, and it is colt starting time. All the two-year-olds and all the three-year-olds, it's time to get them saddled up and get them going. And I want to give you just a little idea of how I prepare those colts on the ground before I get on them, especially in those first few rides, because if things get too wild and you know what happens when horses buck, I fall off. So I need them prepared. Now, I don't want to have to do 30 minutes of groundwork every time before I get on my colts. I'm going to do a few little things to make sure that they're prepared. And I want it to be systematic. I don't want to just chase them around until they're sweaty and then get on them. So I've got this two-year-old filly here that has just a handful of rides. I've just saddled her up this morning and I'm going to move her around a little bit. I've got my hand-tied halter, my 12-foot lead rope, and I'm choosing to use my flag today. And we're going to send her off here. I'm going to let this rope slide through my hands. And I'm going to begin to watch her and study her it's like, no, I don't want to get on this horse. This horse is not ready to get on, is she? She's traveling to the left. I'm holding her in my left hand. I can see her left eye. Now, I talk about doing things systematically. I want to move those hindquarters out of the way, change hands, and send her off in the new direction. And I'm going to do a series of these redirects, because just going around in mindless circles, if they haven't gone through the full range of motion, if they haven't turned and pushed and gone off the other way, I might not really know how prepared they truly are. Hind quarters out of the way, change hands, and move her off. And the other thing you're going to see me doing is moving my circle around here. She's never been out in this pen. I've never ridden her out here. And so I can take this opportunity to acclimate her to these new surroundings. See, I pick up my circle and go somewhere. Let's move those hind quarters out of the way and then four quarters out of the way. I oftentimes do this with just my rope, the end of the rope being the propeller. Today I'm using the flag. You can use anything you'd like, whatever tools you're handy with. Hind quarters out of the way. Where's that other eye? So I've got a plan and how I want her to move around here. It's not just simply chasing her around, and that's what I want the takeaway to be for you today. Have a plan in how you're going to prepare them on the ground so that you're not only exercising them and warming them up physically, you're warming them up mentally and emotionally as well. And you watch my feet, they're moving forward all the time. Hind quarters out of the way, four quarters out of the way. She's starting to look more like a little two-year-old filly that I might think about getting on as she's getting warmed up and leveling out here a little bit. And she's getting acclimated in this new environment. Okay, things are starting to check out a little bit. If I wanted to come in here and check my cinch, that would be appropriate to see if it needs to be drawn up anymore. And the great thing about horses is their ability to separate things out. I've been using this flag to drive her around, but I want to make sure that I can change my body demeanor, change my language, and let her realize that I'm just going to rub you with this flag right now. Now I'm going to change my body language again and say, okay, I need you to move off. Isn't that cool how horses can tell the difference? Hind quarters, out of the way, change hands. See, after standing still for a moment, still has this little silly spot. And now just for fun, let me show you what it looks like without the flag, and I just use the end of my rope. The principles are still the same. I'm just changing tools. Use the tools that you're happy with. Hind quarters out of the way, four quarters out of the way. Showing her how to use herself, how to get her body organized. I'm looking for her to travel around here with a certain amount of efficiency. If she's squirting and, and bouncing around, that's not a one I want to get on yet. But if she starts leveling out and getting more relaxed, then I'll think about climbing on her. I have purposely tried to minimize the groundwork on my young horses. 
I think if you're not careful, they'll get to training you and say, hey, you've got to work me for 20 minutes or I'm not going to be good. And so I'm going to do what's necessary, but then I'm going to get right to work. She's checking out here pretty good. I think I'm going to step on her. Prior proper preparation will prevent the poor performances. You get out there and start your Colts. We want you to be safe. We want you to be productive in what you're doing. Give these things a try. I think you're going to like it. I'm Richard Winters. Thanks for watching.